This is the Operation Telic Order of Battle, which lists the British forces that took part in Operation Telic, including the 2003 invasion of Iraq. Subsequent operations during the occupation and military government of the country, and stabilization operations under the Iraqi interim government and the Iraqi transitional government. The invasion from January 2003 to the 11th of July 2003. Senior British Military Representative and Deputy Commanding General, Multinational Force, Iraq, Major General Freedy Vigors. Maritime Forces British Maritime Component Commander, Rear Admiral David Snelson, British Maritime Component Commander, Major General Tony Milton, Commander Amphibious Task Group, Commodore Jamie Miller, HMS Ark Royal Force E King ASAC 7S of A Flight, 849 Naval Air Squadron 5 Chinook HC 2S of No, 18 Squadron RAF, HMS Ocean 10 Sea King HC 4S of 845 Naval Air Squadron 6 Gazelle FAA Gazelle AH1 of 847 Naval Air Squadron 6 Lynx AH7 of 847 Naval Air Squadron HMS Liverpool 1 Lynx HAS 3 of 815 Naval Air Squadron HMS Edinburgh 1 Lynx of 815 Naval Air Squadron HMS York 1 Lynx of 815 Naval Air Squadron HMS Chatham 2 Lynx of 815 Naval Air Squadron HMS Richmond 1 Lynx HMA 8 of 815 Naval Air Squadron HMS Marlborough 1 Lynx of 815 Naval Air Squadron HMS Sandown HMS Grimsby HMS Bangor HMS Blythe HMS Ledbury HMS Brocklesby HMS Roebuck HMS Scott HMS Splendid, HMS Turbulent, Support Vessels of the Royal Fleet Auxiliary RFA Sir Bedivere, RFA Sir Galahad, RFA Sir Percival, RFA Sir Tristram, RFA Argus 5 Sea King has 6S of 820 Naval Air Squadron, RFA Bayleaf, RFA Bramble Leaf, RFA Orange Leaf, RFA Grey Rover, RFA Fort Austin, RFA Fort Rosalie, RFA Fort Victoria 5 Merlin HM1S of 814 Naval Air Squadron, RFA Diligence, Two Lynxes of 814 Naval Air Squadron ashore in Bahrain, Air Forces British Air Forces Component Commander, Air Vice Marshal Glenn Torpy Tornado GR4 Wing 1 to 18 Tornado GR4S and GR4 is at Ali Al Salem Air Base. Kuwait part of No. 2 Squadron and part of No. 9 Squadron and part of No. 13 Squadron and part of No. 31 Squadron Part of No. 617 Squadron Tornado GR4 Wing 2-12 Tornado GR4S at Aludide Air Base, Qatar Part of No. 12 Squadron and Part of No. 617 Squadron Harrier Wing 1-10 Harrier GR7S Part of No. 1 Squadron and Part of No. 3 Squadron Harrier Wing 2-8 Harrier GR7S Part of No. 4 Squadron at Al Jaber, Kuwait Lucas Fighter Wing 14 Tornado F3S at Prince Sultan in Saudi Arabia Part of No. 43 Squadron and Part of No. 111 Squadron Nimrod MR2 Wing 6 Nimrod Mr. 2S Part of No. 120 Squadron and Part of No. 201 Squadron Part of No. 206 Squadron Tristar Detachment for Tristars of No. 216 Squadron VC-10 Wing 7 VC-10s at Prince Sultan Air Base in Saudi Arabia Part of No. 10 Squadron and Part of No. 101 Squadron VC-10 1 VC-10 C-1K at Rafakrateri from No. 10 Squadron Sentry Wing 4 Sentry AEW-1S Part of No. 8 Squadron and Part of No. 23 Squadron BAE-125 Detachment 3 BAE-125s of No. 
32 Squadron Hercules Wing 6 Hercules Canberra Detachment 2 Canberra PR9S of No. 39 Squadron Azri Care Base Jordan Nimrod R1 Detachment 1 Nimrod R1 of No. 51 Squadron Royal Air Force Regiment 2503 Regiment A Royal Auxiliary Air Force Regiment 27 helicopters were also sent to the area, a mixture of Pumas, Chinooks and Merlins, although the breakdown of types within that number is yet to be determined. Beyond the Hercules aircraft that were based in theatre, virtually the whole of the rest of the Hercules fleet, the C-17 fleet, and those Tristars and VC-10s that had remained based in the UK were involved in transport operations to and from the Persian Gulf. Ground Forces GOC 1st Armoured Division, Major General Robin Brims, GOC 1st Armoured Division, Major General Peter Wall 1st Armoured Division Headquarters and Signal Regiment 1st The Queen's Dragoon Guards 12th Regiment, Royal Artillery Joint Chemical, Biological, Radiation and Nuclear Regiment 1st Battalion, the Duke of Wellington's Regiment 28 Regiment Royal Engineers 1 General Support Regiment Royal Logistic Corps 2 Close Support Regiment Royal Logistic Corps 2nd Battalion Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers 1 Close Support Medical Regiment 5 General Support Medical Regiment 1 Regiment Royal Military Police A Squadron and W Squadron Royal Yeomanry Elements of 5 Royal Regiment of Artillery Elements of 33 Regiment Royal Engineers Elements of 32 Regiment Royal Artillery Phoenix Unmanned Aerial Vehicles Elements of 30 Signal Regiment Elements of 14 Signal Regiment 3 Commando Brigade Brigadier Jim Dutton Headquarters 3 Commando Brigade 59 Independent Squadron Royal Engineers 131 Independent Squadron Royal Engineers 9 Assault Squadron 531 Assault Squadron 29 Regiment Royal Artillery 18105mm Howitzers 40 Commando Royal Marines 42 Commando Royal Marines 7 Armoured Brigade Brigadier Graham Bin 7 Armoured Brigade Headquarters and Signal Squadron 32 Regiment Royal Engineers 3rd Regiment Royal Horse Artillery 32 as 9155mm Howitzers Royal Scots Dragoon Guards Battle Group 42 Challenger 2S, 28 Warrior Tract Armoured Vehicles 1st Battalion Irish Guard 2nd Royal Tank Regiment Battle Group, including elements of 1st Battalion The Light Infantry 42 Challenger 2S, 28 Warriors The Black Watch Battle Group, including elements of the Royal Scots Dragoon Guards and 2nd Royal Tank Regiment 28 Challenger 2S. 42 Warriors 1st Battalion Royal Regiment of Fusiliers Battle Group, including elements of Queen's Royal Lances 14 Challenger 2S. 42 Warriors 16 Air Assault Brigade Brigadier Jacko Page 16 Air Assault Brigade Headquarters D Squadron Household Cavalry Regiment 216 Parachute Squadron Royal Signals Pathfinder Platoon 1st Battalion A Royal Irish Regiment 83rd 87th in the Ulster Defence Regiment 1st Battalion The Parachute Regiment 3rd Battalion The Parachute Regiment 7th Parachute Regiment Royal Horse Artillery 9 Parachute Squadron Royal Engineers 23 Engineer Regiment 7 Air Assault Battalion Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers 13 Air Assault Support Regiment Royal Logistic Corps 16 Close Support Medical Regiment 156 Provost Company Royal Military Police Joint Assets National Support Element 102 Logistic Brigade Brigadier Sean Cowlim Headquarters 102 Logistic Brigade 2 Signal Regiment 36 Engineer Regiment 33 Field Hospital 34 Field Hospital 202 Field Hospital 4 General Support Medical Regiment 3 Battalion Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers 6 Supply Regiment Royal Logistic Corps 7 Transport 
Transport Regiment Royal Logistic Corps 10 Transport Regiment Royal Logistic Corps 17 Porton Maritime Regiment Royal Logistic Corps 23 Pioneer Regiment Royal Logistic Corps 24 Regiment Royal Logistic Corps 5 Regiment Royal Military Police Elements of 11 Explosive Ordnance Disposal Regiment Joint Helicopter Force Headquarters 3 Regiment Army Air Corps Elements of 21 Signal Regiment Elements of No. 662 Squadron Lynx R7S and Gazelle RYS Elements of No. 663 Squadron Lynx R7S and Gazelle RYS HMS Arc Royal Force E King ASAC 7S of Flight A849 Naval Air Squadron 5 Chinook HC2S of No. 18 Squadron HMS Ocean 10 C King HC 4S of 845 Naval Air Squadron 6 Gazelle AH1 of 847 Naval Air Squadron 6 Lynx AH7 of 847 Naval Air Squadron Chinook Wing No. 7 Squadron No. 18 Squadron No. 27 Squadron Puma Detachment No. 33 Squadron Merlin Detachment No. 28 Squadron. Notes It should be noted that when a battalion is referred to as a battle group, it is not purely made up of units from the parent unit, but is an integrated team, combining armoured units with tanks, and mechanised infantry with infantry fighting vehicles. Also, while 16 Air Assault Brigade is apparently the only fighting brigade listed with its own organic helicopter support in this order of battle, 3 Commando Brigade had the helicopters on board Ocean and Ark Royal to call upon, and 7 Armored Brigade wasn't really air mobile as a formation. There were also the RAF Pumas and Chinooks mentioned above for transport purposes. Special Forces elements of the British Army and Royal Marines were also deployed but as the British government policy is not to comment on Special Forces activity, the exact details or elements deployed are officially unconfirmed. The contribution of reservists to the deployment is understated by the order of battle, as the only units to deploy in their entirety were 202 Field Hospital, 131 Independent Commando Squadron of the Royal Engineers as well as A Squadron and W Squadron of the Royal Yeomanry. The remainder were augmentees called up individually from their units and employed to bring many of the units listed above up to their war-fighting strength. Finally, 3 Commando Brigade had a United States Marine Corps unit, 15th MEU under its command in the initial stages of the war. This went back to American command around 25 March.